Right. Now let's get into actually what the original question of this video was. The, the new equipment, uh, you told me about uh, offline here, uh, about how you can predict the hole where the root goes in, how there's new equipment, uh, which makes that very, very uh, easy and faster healing. Tell us specifically about that, please. Well, 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 well let me tell you, traditionally when implants were placed in the earlier years, uh, the dentist would uh, numb up the patient, make an incision in the gum, push the gum aside. We call that raising a flap. They would find a position where they want to put the implant and put it in the jawbone. Now, in the very earlier years, a lot of times the people doing the surgery weren't thinking about what are we going to do when we restore this tooth. So a lot of times implants were placed where the bone was, but where the bone was was not necessarily where the implant should have been placed. So there were systems that came out with bendable heads and this and that. And what, what we evolved to is pre-planning where we want to place the implant so that it would not only fit the bone, but also fit the mouth, where we wanted the final tooth restoration to be. And nowadays, there's something called the comb beam technology. It's essentially a hospital-grade uh, X-ray where we can now take an X-ray of somebody's jaw and evaluate it in three dimensions. Mm. So prior to placing the implant, we have a, a plastic appliance that's fit over the teeth on the jaw where we have predetermined by studying the three-dimensional anatomy of the jawbone, and we can precisely place the implant exactly where we want it to balance both function and anatomy so that when we go to do the surgery, we're not cutting the gum and flapping the tissue back. We're actually doing it arthroscopically almost. We're essentially drilling through a small hole in that plastic appliance, which pre, we, which is at the predetermined angle, and all we have to do is drill down the proper depth. The beauty of this is the surgery is faster. We don't have soft tissue manipulation. And by the second day, the patient is literally on no pain medication because the jawbone itself has very limited nerve supply. Most of the past discomfort from implant surgery was from post-op inflammation of the soft tissue. And since we're not flapping it, we're not manipulating it anymore, patients are amazed at how comfortable the procedure is and how quickly they heal. Wow. And that's especially when it comes to dentistry where, you know, all of us are still running around with the pictures from when we were very young or even our parents of like, you know, dentistry is like that, that's the worst thing in life, apparently. Um, and so it's really nice to know. So basically you with this, you're drilling in perfectly you know before you go basically and it's just that's where it will go and i personally can think with that being a tool maker from profession we always used to make little fixtures so that the drill or the whatever we cut it in it could only go one way and that was the predetermined way so that the person drilling had no influence anymore of that he could mess it up you know what i'm saying and i guess that's what you're saying it's so, well, well, the other the other advantage the other advantage element if if if, if i could could elaborate a little bit more that is sometimes you're doing <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know but sometimes we're doing a series of implants sometimes it's not one tooth we're replacing but multiple teeth and it's important in those instances that the implants are placed parallel to each other if they're off kilter it really creates a problem when you're making the final restoration that's another beauty of, of pre-planning where you're placing these implants that things can be put in proper alignment. It takes the guesswork out of it. 